second speaker is Lord Richard Keyes. He's there, I think he's fine. Come on. Keep going, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge now. Great, great. Not yet, you're not. I want to introduce you. Rich is a software developer working on a broad range of technologies. As a keen outdoors man and someone with a larger than average waistline, that's what it says here, I'm not being wrong. <laughs> it's not surprising he's been called Barnsley's answer to Ray Mears on more than one occasion. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Ladies and gentlemen, with stifling statistics, please welcome Richard Keynes. <laughs> to um, what is a fact. A fact is something that has occurred or is actually the case. Uh, they tested by something called uh, verifiability or variability, which is basically whether it's right or wrong, and scientists determine facts by uh, doing tests they can repeat again and again. Uh, moving on to statistics, which is, like I said, is not maths, which is something you might you know, associate with me. Um, a statistic is a numerical fact or datum, a datum is a single piece of data. Uh, and I like to see a statistic as a fancy way of presenting a fact. So you, you see all these nice pie charts and English one statistics. Uh, one statistic got told to me a couple of weeks ago now. I was told that Barnsley was the worst place in the United Kingdom to start a business. Um, I initially said bollocks. I know, I can see a lot of people in here I know run business in Barnsley. who were sat in here with a nice expensive pint of left. Not sat outside <laughs> drinking white lightning, so I know that's false. Uh, point B, there's another side to every statistic. That says Apple is the most evil company in existence. My friend said this to me the other day because he'd seen something about this Foxconn stuff, you know, the Chinese employees being exploited, and oh, it's awful. It is awful, I agree. Um, but at the same time, Sony, Samsung, all those other companies doing it. Every statistic's got another side to it. Android, more profit than iPhone, another one. I get told this a lot. There's five iPhones knocking about. There's 57 Android devices, which are free. You don't have to pay for them, which gives that a bit of weight. And I like this picture. Um, what is a rumour? Uh, this is quite a short slide. Um, a a rumour is a statement. Uh, people misconfirm a fact. It's a statement in circulation which has got no basis. No one's confirmed it. No one's tested it, but it's on it. Um, that's actually Fleetwood Mac's Rumours album, which was released in 1977, <laughs> and included the singles, Go Your Own Way, Don't Stop, and Dreams. <laughs> um, types of rumour, uh, rumour humour, the main one is when you hear people say like, you know, sarcastically, oh, you're the smartest guy I've ever met, that can get, you know, heard uh, by another person, passed on. Chinese whispers, you all know what that is, it becomes a fact. Uh, malicious rumours. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you can guess what I, a malicious rumour is aimed at what you know, aimed at someone. It's it's out there to hurt someone. Uh, this is actually a picture of I'm sure a lovely couple, but it's a, a blog of, uh, about a girl telling uh, telling us all about a mum making up rumours and believing in herself eventually. Uh, another form of rumour, misinformation. That's simple enough to explain. Um, I tell this guy here something. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. <laughs> he believes me because I'm pretty convincing. Um, pass it on to his mate. Pass it on to his mate. We've got a rumour. It's out of control. Um, understanding or misunderstanding. Same thing. I tell this guy something. I'm right. I'm a genius. He just misunderstands it. Tells his mate. Passes it on. There's a rumour out there now that's got pretty much no basis in fact. It's just something he's made up. 
And this is Scott Pilgrim, very good. <laughs> um, wild stories. Um, we've all got friends who, you know, they tell these stories like, you know, oh, I met this girl on Saturday, and, you know, it goes on and on and on, and you think, that's bullshit. And it usually is, but then you tell your mate about this wild story and you had a bit more, like you had a cape on or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> you've all seen the videos on the internet. Um, Twitter is something I thought I'd mention about rumours. This was uh, Graham Lyman when Sam Bin Laden was killed. He tweeted uh, that Sam Bin Laden was found watching the IT crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that, that got, you know, that got built on, built on, spread through Twitter. Uh, eventually, I think most Americans at the end of the day thought Osama bin Laden loved the Big Bag Theory, <laughs> um, which is pretty good. Uh, this is my favourite type of rumour statistic thing. This is an urban legend. These are the stories that you, you hear, like, you know, this one's the uh, girl was driving home, flashed people, flashing the lights, she didn't know why, then she stopped and there's a man in the back. And most people have got a friend who's had that happen to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> spiders, I picked that picture because all the other pictures made me feel ill. Um, <laughs> spiders is the one, uh, my favourite kind of thing. Uh, who knows how many spiders they ate last year? Eight. Anybody? Eight? Eight? Yeah, well, that's bullshit really again. It's, uh, <laughs> it was made up by a journalist back in the 90s to prove that these things spread like wildfire from the internet. Uh, pop Rocks and Coke, <coughs> did we have Pop Rocks before? The popping candy. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> if you mix them with coke, they fizz up and go everywhere. Um, back in the 70s, uh, when they released this thing, um, there was a rumour going round, an urban legend, that basically a, a child star of some serial advert had drank Pop Rocks and Coke and died. He didn't. He's fine, I'm sure. <laughs> probably, probably not. Um, coke? Who's had coke before? Yeah. yeah. You don't know what that's <laughs> Coca Cola? Yeah, it's all. It had cocaine in it. Didn't. It really had a bit of cocaine in it. Uh, really bad uh, Treason? This is Queen. Don't kill the Queen. Link? Um, <laughs> basically, I get told a lot that you can still be hung uh, for treason in the United Kingdom. Can't. It was repealed in 1998, and no one's been hung since way back in the 60s. Uh, and back on spiders, bit, these are a bit more happy spiders. Um, the daddy long legs, you've all heard that it's the most poisonous animal on the planet. Uh, it's, it's not. Uh, there's a difference between poison ve uh, poisonous and venomous. Venomous being uh, something injected into you, which is usually what spiders are. The British daddy long legs doesn't do anything of this. A lot of people, there's an American thing, and we're not there yet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people, uh, the American one has venom, but it's, it can't bite anyone, it's just rumour. Uh, so, to take away from this, I want you to not listen to anything I've said, and actually go and look into it, I guess. Enjoy rumours for yourself. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.